Hi, let's discuss linear bounded automata. The mathematical representation of context sensitive language is called linear bounded automata. Linear bounded automata is a non deterministic Turing machine with following two conditions. First condition it includes two special symbols one is left hand marker, another is right hand marker. In Turing machine, we use blank. But here there are two separate symbols for left hand marker and for right hand marker. Then second condition is read write header cannot move left from the left hand marker and cannot move right from the right hand marker. If you remember in Turing machine we use if it will say blank, blank will be blank and will move right. Like suppose there are some input and finally there is blank. There can be infinite number of blank. If read write header is here, if it will see blank, blank will be blank and we will move right and accept. But here you cannot move from the right hand marker and you cannot move from the left hand marker. Suppose there is some input like 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and left side there is a dollar symbol and right side there is this symbol. The read write header is here. It cannot move right from this or it cannot move left from this. So the right header will move in between this. It cannot move left from the left hand marker and it cannot move right from the right hand marker. So it will just move in between the data. We already designed non-deterministic Turing machine, linear bounded automata that looks same as non-deterministic Turing machine. But here we are using two different symbols for left hand marker and for right hand marker. In non-deterministic Turing machine, we are simply using blank for both left and right. But in case of linear bounded automata, we are using two different symbol and we cannot move left from the left hand marker and we cannot move right from the right hand marker. Let's discuss context sensitive language. The language which is accepted by linear bounded automata or generated by context sensitive grammar is called context sensitive language. Context sensitive language is free from empty string or epsilon. Context sensitive language don't contain epsilon, that's a linear bounded automata that cannot accept epsilon. If any string that is greater than or equal to 0 or that contain epsilon, that will be not accepted by linear bounded automata. Let's see one example of context sensitive grammar. Here language is a power n, b power n, c power n, n greater than or equal to 1. If it will be greater than or equal to 0, then this will be not context sensitive language. It will be recursive enumerable language. As context sensitive language don't accept epsilon. If it will be greater than or equal to 1, then only it will be context sensitive language. Let's write the grammar for this. From S, you can derive A, S, A, C or A, B, C. Then from C, A, you can derive A, C. Then from B A, you can derive B B. Let's consider a string 2 A followed by 2 B followed by 2 C and try to generate from this grammar. Now from S, you can derive A S A C. Next from this S, you can derive A B C. So in place of S, I will just write A B C. Next in place of C A, you can write A C. This is a production from CA, you can generate AC. So in place of this CA, write AC. In place of this BA, we'll write BB. Now we got 2A followed by 2B followed by 2C. In place of CA, we write AC. Then in place of BA, we write BB. Means directly for A, you cannot replace its production. You have to check its left or its right terminal then only you can write its production that's why it is called as context sensitive grammar you have to check its left terminal or right terminal then only you can use the production that's why this is a context sensitive grammar context sensitive grammar is in this format alpha tends to beta and alpha can be variable plus terminal positive closure and beta can be variable plus terminal positive closure means in both left side and right side terminal can present but in case of context free grammar left side only variable will be there you can write a tends to a b and in some production there is suppose a a b something like this and without using left without using right in place of a simply you will write a b 
you don't need to check left and right that's why this is a context free grammar so it is not dependent on the context it is not dependent on the terminal it's left what is in left side what is in right side it is not dependent on that directly you can use its production but in case of context sense it is dependent on context context means it is dependent on its left or right so i think you are clear why this is called as context sensitive next example of context sensitive language first language a power n b power n c power n n greater than equal to 1 if it will be greater than equal to 0 then it will be not context sensitive language this is greater than equal to 1 that's why it is context sensitive language then w w w belongs to a plus b positive closure Next language a power m, b power n, c power m, d power n, m, n greater than equal to 1. You cannot design PDF for this. As in stack, you cannot execute this. So here number of a should be equal to number of c and number of b should be equal to number of d. And at top of the stack there will be b. So you cannot compare c with b. But in tape you can execute. So that's why you can design LBA or Turing machine for this. Next language w, 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 w belongs to A plus B positive closure. Next language A power N power 2 N greater than equal to 1. When N will be 1, 1 power 2 it will be 1. When N will be 2, 2 power 2 it will be 4. When N will be 3, 3 power 2 it will be 9. Then 4 power 2 it will be 16. It will accept 1, 4, 9, 16. I already discussed in weak form of pumping lemma that if this is not in arithmetic progression, then that is not context free or not regular language. This is a context sensitive language. Here, this is not in AP, that's why it is a context sensitive language. Next language A power 2 power n. So 2 power 1 it will accept 2a, then 2 power 2 it will accept 4a, 2 power 3 it will accept 8a, 2 power 4 it will accept 16a. And this sequence is not in AP, so this is a context sensitive language. Then a power n factorial, 1 factorial will be 1, 2 factorial will be 2, 3 factorial will be 6. So this sequence is not in AP, that's why this is context sensitive language. If it will be in AP, then it will be context free or regular language. Next language A power P, P is a positive prime number. So number of A can be 1, then 3, then it can be 5, it can be 7, it can be 11, then it can be 13. This sequence is not in AP, it is a context sensitive language. If it will be in AP, then that will be context free language. Next language a power p, p is not a prime number. This is also not in AP, so it is a context sensitive language. Next a power i, b power j, c power k, j equal to i multiplication k, i j k greater than equal to 1. Only we can do addition and subtraction in stack. We cannot do multiplication in stack. We can do multiplication on tab. So this is a context sensitive language. You cannot design PDF for this, but you can design LBA or Turing machine for this. Next, closure property of context sensitive language. Context sensitive language is closed under following operation. First union, intersection, complement, concatenation, clean closure, reversal, inverse homomorphism, substitution, intersection with regular set. Just remember, Every language is closed under intersection with regular set. Context sensitive language is closed under this operator. Then context sensitive language is not closed under homomorphism quotient with regular set. Every context sensitive language is recursive, but recursive need not be context sensitive language. Context sensitive language is a subset of recursive. That's why every context sensitive language is recursive. But every recursive need not be context sensitive language. With this, I am finishing LBA and context sensitive language. Thank you.